Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about uh, the API integration and uh, the authentication from the API side. So on the front end now we are ready with the, the framework Redux Thunk. Now Redux Thunk will make a API request okay API v1 restaurant. This will go to the nginx and there we will uh, do the routing. It's uh, this request is on port 80 and uh, localhost 480 api v1 restaurant the nginx will decide okay this is going to be the restaurant service okay let's go here and this request has the authorization uh, header which is having the access token okay the restaurant service is already written but it doesn't have a mechanism to validate the token so what we are going to do is we are going to write a middleware which will talk to the nest.js service these are nest.js components okay uh, let me highlight these as an SCS component, the blue ones, okay. Middleware, and we are going to write a service. Middleware will call this service. You know, the express middleware or the SCS middleware, both are same thing. They intercept the request and then they will do the validation of the access token. For the validation of access token, we have isolated this responsibility in a particular microservice, which is a, which is a gatekeeper service, okay and the communication is happening on the http layer gatekeeper will say okay your token is valid everything is fine now you can go ahead and fetch the data from the repository services of the restaurant and our database will respond uh, with the the payload and we will get the the data in the front end we will update the redux state components will start showing the data so this particular framework we are going to build in this video we, we already have the framework ready from the front end side to send the token to uh, intercept the async actions call the restaurant api send the authorization header and handle the the failures response uh, at the the client side okay now uh, let's go to our swiggy microservice so this is swiggy microservice we have and here we are going to create a middleware so we can actually create a folder where we are going to put a core components like middleware and all and here we can say auth dot middleware dot ts because we are writing typescript okay this middleware is going to talk to our uh, gatekeeper service okay so first we are going to write a middleware and writing a middleware is uh, simple and plain and simple i mean what we need is we need the basic imports from the nest.js and then are we using logger here no so i will just comment it out okay then we are just going to write uh, injectable services okay here we can call it as export class auth middleware which is going to implement uh, nest middleware okay if it is implementing nest middleware then we have to override a method which is implement interface okay yes okay yeah we have to override this use method we have to define this use method and uh, this particular method is taking three arguments so it is of type request response and this is the next function and this is of type next function which we have imported from express and here we will write our code and it's going to be very simple what this code will do is we are going to get authorization from request.header authorization and we are getting this from request header sorry for this okay here we will do the some primary checks if we are not getting authorization then we will just simply throw http exception okay hey dude you need to provide the uh, authentication header otherwise we will not allow you to enter this is fine this is unauthorized now if everything is fine like you are providing authorization header we will just uh, call the api service 
and that API service is nothing but we are going to call the gatekeeper service and say okay we are making a call you need to tell us if this token is valid or not if this token is not valid then we will just say okay HTTP exception token authorization failed meanwhile we will fix all the TSLint issues okay so here we are going to make uh, the authorization service so what we will do is this is a, another nestjs service so we will do the constructor injection to the authorization service which we are going to build this is authorization service we have and what we will do is this dot authorization service because it's going to be http call and it's not, it's going to be xeos call so we are going to get the data from this and we can say await this dot authorization service and there is a method we are going to write authorized request authorized request and we are going to pass the authorization okay that's it and uh, we are going to get this data so data will contain email and and data will also contain uh, the token sorry uid these two things we are going to get from the gatekeeper service and this is await so this function should be async if both are there then what we will do is request dot user and we can't append the the user object uh, data object directly and we can't directly add the user because this request doesn't have that so what we will do is we can create a new type export uh, user meta data and it will extend the request object coming from express and here we will say user object which is of type any export interface user metadata and instead of passing it as a request and now this can have this user property everything is fine now and if we got everything we can just call the next and just indent it and format this particular code everything looks fine authorization service now this thing we have to write okay authorization service so what we will do is we will go to our shared services i mean we can create here also inside core we should create a middleware authorization dot service dot ts and in this service we are going to make a call to the gatekeeper service okay so this is going to be the the simple uh, you can call it as a method right it's going to be a simple http service which i'm going to just add what it is doing if you see we are getting the gatekeeper service url from the config service and here we are making a call to xeos get and we are passing the token now we have a lot of all these things so we are not much concerned like how it is written it's an injectable service we are writing the authorization service we are injecting this service inside our uh, auth middleware right and this service we will add in our uh, the domain module okay so what we need to do here is we have to introduce this variable gatekeeper service in our config service or we can just get it okay we have config service gatekeeper service url which is empty and we need to add this in our config also and we introduce a new variable and this is going to be string gatekeeper service url and config module we have to i mean this is how we are introducing the, the environment variable you can just put it in the env i wrote a custom environment a custom config service that's why we have to do a lot of things otherwise you can use the dot env that will do all these things for you and here we can just say give me this from either from the default so env dot 
gatekeeper service url this is a process.env or from the default config you can get the gatekeeper service url okay pretty much simple so this we have introduced in the config service now this is you can introduce a core module but that's not necessary it's just a two files uh, middleware is directly added in the domain module so what we need to do here is in our domain module we can uh, decide what all routes are going to use this particular auth middleware like all the routes which are starting with the api v1 will use this and inside uh, we'll use this and all these requests will go through this particular flow here we can just authorize this request which particular method we are calling authorize request so things are good now we will just add in our domain module so this is our domain module here we have written all the routes so we just implement a nest middleware and we will just say okay these particular routes are going to use this okay so there is a configure method so what we will do is inside this we just configure this and in the configuration what we will say is okay uh, all the apis which are starting with the api v1 uh, apply this particular middleware auth middleware right what it is doing is it is validating all the requests which are coming so implement auth middleware we are excluding one particular we can exclude the set of routes also like if you want if you are saying is okay i have this particular route api v1 restaurant because any user can uh, can can access this list of restaurant without even doing a login so we can just pass this particular route here saying that you don't need to protect each and every api there can be a public api so what we can do here is missing all imports so all the api starting with the api v1 will have to pass through this auth middleware ex excluding this particular middleware, this particular routes okay so this is how you can actually integrate uh, the middleware in our uh, the domain module i mean in any, any module most of our routes are written in the domain module there are all the controllers are written inside it so we are excluding this particular route we are saying okay uh, any anyone can access it but we will also check how uh, the authorization header is being passed and how we are able to fetch the restaurant information so now this is the the backend integration now what we will do is in the next video we will run this whole setup we will send the request of api v1 restaurant from the react component go to nginx then it will go to this uh, swiggy microservice restaurant microservice it will talk to the gatekeeper service get the, the response it will say okay your token is valid you can go ahead and get the, the restaurant information so this is our middleware this middleware is talking to the authorization service authorize request if everything is fine otherwise if this authorized request is throwing any kind of error that means your token is invalid right if it is throwing 200 requests that means you got the email and data and we will update the request.user object and we will call the next middleware means go to the api request and do your stuff otherwise the token authorization failed unauthorized okay so this is our backend uh, structure of validating each and every request this can be added in any microservice any microservice can call a particular uh, gatekeeper service to validate uh, authenticate and authorization currently we don't have a role but we will introduce the role based authorization also with the firebase token okay thanks everyone